Welcome back and in this example you're gonna see a lot of circles or radiuses with all the dimensions on them and you're gonna see me do some fillets so I'm gonna try to make sure that I do a trimmed circle as well as doing a fillet just to show you the difference between them and sometimes you're gonna have to choose which one you're gonna do alright so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so the first thing I always like to do is make sure that I check and see all the dimensions that I'm going to need. So I can see that I have these two circles and they have the, the radiuses that are located here. So that takes care of the bottom half, my two radiuses on the inside, and I know the proper term for it is probably radii. Uh, the two circles that are sitting out here and those two radii are sitting here. This distance of 50 tells me how far it is from here going up, but it also tells me going right across here. So these are in line with each other, which is really super important to know because I'm going to have to eventually locate one of these circles, all right, in order to build this one. And preferably, I'm going to try to locate this one. So do I have enough information? And sure I do. I have my X and my Y component. All right. So I'm thinking I have everything that I need, and if any problems come up with dimensions, I will address it. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to AutoCAD and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of our normal housekeeping. Let's turn our grid off. We verify that our dynamic input is turned on. In this case, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose. I'm just going to choose the ortho mode, and I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure which one of my O snaps are on. So these are the common ones I like to have on. All right, so I'm going to start with a circle, and the circle that I'm going to start with is the big one at the bottom. So we'll begin by creating these two circles. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create these two circles. And I'm going to represent these by double slashes. And then from that point, I'll create these two circles. All right, so once I create these three groups of circles, I should have about everything that I need to construct everything else that's going along with this drawing. All right, so let's go ahead and switch back over to AutoCAD. One other thing to note is that all of those circles was radii, so I think I kind of made sure I covered that in the intro. So I'm going to go up here to Circle, Center Radius, and if you don't want to use the, tip, the uh, toolbar up here at the top, you can always just push C, Enter, and by default, it is a radius circle. So let's go ahead and create our first one. Now, it is really important to decide where I'm going to start to set. I can start it at 0, 0, and that's going to save me some steps. Or I can start it somewhere else. But in this example, I'm going to show you a O snap, and we're going to take a look at it this one time, just in case if you didn't want to, or if you didn't know how to move the UCS. So let's go ahead and create this circle anywhere. And this one has a radius of 20. Then I'll create another circle, so I like to hit the enter button to take me back to the last command. Here's another one of those sneaky things that AutoCAD will show you is that if you just type in the at symbol, so I'm going to hold down the shift button and hit the number 2, you can see the at symbol come up, so I'm physically typing in that at symbol. After that, I'm just going to hit enter, and that takes me to the last center that I created. And this one has a radius of 30. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And you can see that I do have those two circles. Now, I will show you this O snap that you got to use. And this is one of those O snaps that you're going to physically have to type in the at symbol. For example, I want to create the circles that are sitting right over here along the top. I'll go to circle, center radius. And now I need to tell it where to go from, right? I'm going to hold down the shift button and do a right click. Let go of the shift button. Select the word from. And now I have to click, where do I want this thing to start from? So I want to define it from this center. So once you get to center, left click on it. And now it's asking me to type in the offset. Well, I want to go 50 units up, zero units on the X and Y axis. So I'm going to type in the at symbol. So remember, hold down the shift button, hit the number two, at zero, comma, 50. 
and that gives me the rectangular coordinates to go 0 on the x-axis, 50 on the y-axis. Enter. And now I'll type in the radius. So the first radius I'll type in is 9. Enter. And this is one of those useful things again. Take your hand off the mouse. Hit the enter button. That'll take you back to the last command. Hold down the shift button. Hit the number 2. That'll type in the at symbol. Let go the shift button. And then just hit enter. That'll take us back to the last circle that we created. And then type in 15. Enter. All right. And now I need to create the circles that are located along this side. And that is 90 away from this one. So we're going to use that from command one more time. So let's go to circle center radius. Hold down the shift button. Right click with your mouse. Let go of the shift button. Select from. Now you might have to touch one of these circles to get the plus to show up. And if your plus is not showing up, another thing I probably should have mentioned when I created the other ones is in the fly up here, make sure that there's a check next to center. I'm just going to left click back in the screen here. It's asking me to pick a base point. Well, I want to go from this center. So left click on that center. Now it's asking for the offset. I have to type in the at symbol. And I have to tell it how far to go on the y axis. In this case, it's 90, comma. Do I want to go anywhere on the up and down or the y-axis? In this case, it's no, so that's zero. Enter. Now I'll type in the radius, which is 15. Enter. I'm not touching my mouse again. I'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard. That takes me back to the last circle. Hold down the shift button. Hit the number two. Let go of the shift button. I'm just typing in that at symbol. Once you have that, go ahead and hit enter. That takes me to the last center. And then just type in 6, enter. All right. So now we have most of the circles that we're going to need to construct what we have going on. All right. So we notice that these two circles are the exact same size. The way that we see they're the exact same size is we come back and we check our drawing and we can see that both of those radii are indeed 15. So what that does is it give me a super important thing. I have a O snap that is sitting right at the top of these two circles. That O snap is called a quadrant. So I can just draw a line strictly from this quadrant to that quadrant. All right, so these are my two circles. Let me hit the escape button just to clear out those squares. I'm going to make sure that quadrant is selected here. Now I can just draw a line. And I can go and click on the top of this diamond to the top of that diamond. Escape. And now I want to create a line that goes from here to here. So I'm going to go back to the line command. Hold down the shift button. Right click. Select tangent. And now your tangency does matter. So I want that line to be somewhere along here. So I'm going to left click here. Hold down the shift button. Right click. Go back to tangent again. And I want that line to be somewhere along this side. Left click. Make sure that you're getting the green tracking tangency button there. All right. I'll go to escape. And that takes care of those lines there. I have a big arc that's created here. All right. So one of the circles that I can use is called a tangent tangent radius. I do know the radius. And I do know the two tangencies of that circle. So I can use this and go tangent tangent radius. I want that arc to be somewhere along here. So left click here. That arc is somewhere along here. Left click here. And then type in the radius, which is 50. All right. So we can create that circle here. And the next step I would do is use a trim. And then I would just cut off the part that I don't want. That is one way of doing it. But there is a faster way. And if you didn't understand this or know how to use this one, it's the fillet command. So I can use the fillet command. Set the radius at 50, enter, and I want it somewhere along here, so I'm just going to left click here, somewhere along here, left click, and it will complete that for you. So it'll do the circle, and it will trim it off for you. All right, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this circle, and remember that the displacement of this circle is just going 40 that direction. That is really important that you understand the displacement part of it. I'm not moving it to a certain point, so that plays a huge role on your base point. So I'm going to go to copy, 
select this circle, enter. I'll pick my base point here, and that's the irrelevant part about this is that since it's a displacement, I'm just moving it along this way, so it's 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 relevant to no matter where I pick on the screen, I know that it's gonna be 40 units away from that. So long as I aim this direction, my ortho is on, I'll type in 40, enter, escape. Let's go ahead and draw our lines that we did before. So I'm just going to draw a line from this quadrant to that quadrant. Escape. Back to the line command. This quadrant to this quadrant. All right, we have a little bit of trimming to do, and then we have a couple of more fillets, and we are complete. So let's go ahead and trim these two parts off. I'm going to trim in between here and around here. I'll trim out the portions between here. Escape. Last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and throw those fillets in. So we can use the fillet command again. Although, if you didn't know that, you can also use that tangent tangent radius circle. But I'm going to go to fillet. And this time I know these two fillets are the exact same size. So I'm going to select multiple. And then I'm going to go to radius. I'll type in the radius, which is 30, enter. I'm going to click here, along this side, and along this side. And then I'm going to come to this side and click, and click along this side. Escape. Come back to the trim command, and trim it out. Escape. Okay. And now, so I hope you enjoyed kind of some of the commands on here and kind of getting a better understanding on how to use some of these commands but they are really useful and if you know some of them they'll really speed up your keystroke so i hope you enjoyed watching this and look forward to you seeing some of the other videos thank you